You want to hear something that should piss off anybody that has a child in the Rogers Public School District or anybody that has a child that became a victim of Bradley Quillen? A teacher in Arkansas just came forward and said that she had reported Bradley Quillen's behavior back in the 2020-2021 school year. She reported it to the school district. What's even more maddening is that the school district acknowledges that it received a report about Bradley Quillen's behavior. According to this teacher, who I'm not going to name, she was sitting at home one night, scrolling on Snapchat or whatever it is that you do on Snapchat, and she had a random person at her. It was Bradley Quillen. He didn't know who she was, didn't know how old she was, knew nothing about her. And according to the teacher, before she knew it, she received a video from Bradley Quillen of him pleasuring himself. And I know probably what you're thinking is that it was an adult. An adult can send that kind of stuff to an adult. It wasn't anyone that he knew. He didn't know that it was an adult. And as it turns out, it's similar methods to how he got all these other victims. Hundreds of children that he admits that he spoke to, admits that he communicated with in this same manner. The Rogers public school system knew about it years ago, and they did nothing because according to them, according to their current superintendent, who wasn't a superintendent at the time, he said that Bradley Quillen was an adult, the person who received it was an adult, and although they hold their teachers to a higher standard, according to them, Even though they told the teacher that it would be handled, they could not do anything about something that was done outside of school hours, adult to adult, even though this adult didn't ask for it, even though he didn't know she was an adult. So I would have to wonder how much the Rogers Public School District is protecting children. Also, I would have to wonder how many other reports of other teachers have they simply ignored because it's something the teacher did during their off time. It may be something the teacher did during their off time, but it's something that this teacher did to children who were the same age as the kids that he was teaching at school. Some of them were the kids that he was teaching at school, and they could have stopped it then had they just reported it to the police and let the police sort it out, but they didn't. That's not what they did. They ignored it. The teacher went on to say something that really I have said all along. Snapchat is evil. Children should not have Snapchat. They shouldn't have access to it. And I, as a parent who has had teenagers, I know it's difficult to be like, no, I don't want you to have that because all your friends have it. And, but I know that it's, it's bad. But sometimes you just have to put your foot down. Sometimes you have to see the bigger picture.